All right, hi everybody. Um, the purpose of this video is to get you guys into the Wiley Plus and show you how to do that. So I went over the kind of basics of this in the last one, but I want to just uh, make sure you guys are all familiar with it. So from your homepage on the Rowan um, course here in Canvas, if you click onto Wiley Plus Read, Study, and Practice, it will bring up uh, this window. And this is how you and um, access to Wiley Plus. Now, you may have purchased a registration code. Uh, maybe you did that. So if you purchased a registration code, you put it in here, okay? If you have not purchased a registration code, you can either purchase instant access to Wiley Plus, or you can purchase, uh, or you can enter the Wiley Plus by using the 14-day grace period, okay? So if you're ready to purchase it, like I said in the last video, it's $119. Um, and what you get with that is the ability to do all the assignments through Wiley Plus and the e-text online version of the book. Okay, so you can read the entire book online. Now, you might be wondering what the difference is here for this. For $10 more, you get the e-book, uh, which means you can read the book on uh, offline or you can read it on like an iPad uh, or a Kindle or something like that. But I think I, I mean, if you want that, that's you're more than welcome to get it. But um, you can get the full access to the e-text on uh, Wiley Plus here without that ten dollars. Uh, the loose leaf really is not a bad option if you like having the paper. This is probably the option I would go with just because I like to have the kind of paper book um, for hundred sixty nine dollars to get the loose leaf, so you put it in a binder or something like that, and you get access to Wiley Plus as well. So it's up to you what you want to get. Um, I, I, I mean, you can do the textbook rental. I think if you if you want a textbook, this this would be sufficient. I don't I don't know, um, you know what the because sometimes the rental can be a little bit of a hassle. But everyone should be able to get into the course this week, um, even if you're not re ready to pay by doing the 14 day grace period. Okay, so let me show you guys then what it looks like uh, once you're in and once you have the assignment. So I have to log out of the student view to see that so when you go in here and you access uh, Wiley plus let me show you a couple of things so the Wiley plus read study and practice page is really a great resource for you all right there's a lot of things on this page that you can look at um, so let's just look at chapter one since that's where we're starting okay so in chapter one, you get here all kinds of chapter resources. Okay, here's the actual e-text that I was talking about. So this is where you can read the book uh, online. Okay, and I like how it's kind of broken up here. So when you're going through, you can, like I said, read this. Um, you'll have access to the pictures. There's little checkpoint questions. And then you move uh, section 1.2. So the sections like are pretty short. Okay, um, and you can use definitely take the time to read the book. Okay, um, there's different animations here, anatomy overviews, that are also really beneficial for you. Okay, um, and I would suggest you take a look at these anatomy overviews. In the PowerPoint presentations that Dr. Tom Mott's going to go over with you every week with the chapter, she's going to direct you to these, um, and you can actually access them by clicking the links directly in the PDFs or um, the PowerPoints. All right, so you can access them through this or you can access them from the links in the PDF of the PowerPoint, okay? Um, there's activities in here to help you to practice, all right? Uh, so you may get something like this where a flash player is blocked, okay? So I left this in here so I could show you how to fix that. So if you're in Google Chrome, which is what I use, um, you gotta go up, up here to the little lock, uh, go to flash and change it to allow, okay? And then once you do that, you should be able to see the um, flash animations. Okay. Other things that are really good in here are 3D physiology videos, and um, depending on the concepts that we're doing, these are all going to be really good for you to watch at different points, and they'll be in the PowerPoint lectures how to access them. So uh, these are all um, up to synapses and neurotransmitter action. These are all ones that are going to be in A&P1, so you should definitely take the time to watch all of these because they're really good when they come up in the class if you would study. Um, so let me go back here um, to let's see, I go back to the original page here. 
and show you what else you can get on Wiley Plus. So, me, I gotta go. Let's see. Sometimes it's a little bit. Okay, read, study, and practice. Right. So, yeah. To, to get back, you just click uh, read, study, and practice to get back to it. So there's other things on this page too that are all helpful. So again, the animations are all listed here. The activities are listed here. Um, you can access all of it from up here as well. So it's all just different ways to get. The information. All right. I really like these real anatomy. Um, generally, when I teach the class in person, spend some more time on the real anatomy activities. But when we get to things like the bones and the muscles, you're going to want to uh, to look at these um, to help you get a better idea. And there's little practical assessments and self-assessments that you can do to kind of reinforce this material. So again, lots of good resources here on the read, study, and practice. This is where you read the book. This is where you look at the animations, right? And this is where you can really go to study and reinforce the material, all right? Um, critical thinking questions are in here too. I think there's also answers to these. Yeah, they give you the answer. So definitely look at these. Right? There, there are things that you may see going forward on your exams. Okay. Um, so if we close out and we go back here to our uh, Canvas page, um, if you're having issues with Wiley Plus, you can click here to go to Wiley Plus Support. And Wiley Plus Support is um, helpful. Uh, what you can do is you can see different, um, so this I guess is my information, but yours might look a little bit different than this. Um, help pages will generally help you with Wiley Plus Support. I've called them in the past. Um, and, and it gives you kind of basic things that may occur. Uh, you may get an error that says a second session of Wiley Plus is running. That's a common one that sometimes students get. If you get that one, you have to clear your cache. You have to make sure you're closed out and you have to clear the, uh, the bookmarks or the, not the bookmarks, the, uh, the history on your computer to, um, uh, to make it work again. So that's a common thing that sometimes happens for students. They have two sessions running. You just got to make sure you close out of all sessions before you run a second one. So I close out of this to make sure that when I go back, I can see that. Um, so let me show you what an assignment looks like. So let's look at Wiley Plus Assignment 1. When it opens up, you'll see this, load Wiley Plus Assignment, new window. Now your screen's going to look a little different than this because um, you're on the student end, mine on the instructor end. But this page should look pretty much the same. Uh, you'll get kind of a little introductory um, you know, thing about the assignment when it starts. Okay, uh, when it's due, and you know anything else about it, uh, attempts if it's graded right, you get two attempts for question. Okay, uh, show link, show answer after second attempt. So just keep in mind kind of what you can do. So when you're ready, all the questions for the assignment are on the side here. So here's all the questions for this assignment. Okay, so if you hit next, it should bring up the question. So it says, What subspecialty of anatomy studies the structure or function of cells? You just select the answer, which would be in this case cell biology, pretty straightforward, but there's the answer there if you didn't know. Um, once you select it, you hit next to go to the next one, and then it brings you to the next question. See how it moves down. So you just hit next here, or you can even click, uh, and then when you get to the end of the assignment, um, I'm not sure, there may be something that says submit, or there may not be. I can't remember what it looks like on your end. Um, but if not, I actually, I don't think there is something to hit submit. I think once you're done all of the questions, then you're done um with the assignment so yeah and you can always check kind of like your review score to see what you got out of the assignment so there are 45 uh questions here 45 points but remember it goes into that 15 percent or whatever it is for uh, uh wiley plus assignments okay so that's what this looks like on your end uh to to navigate okay so each uh week if you look at the weekly overviews you'll have um, two Wiley Plus uh, assignments, one for each of the chapters for that week, two labs, one for each of the assignments. So if you look at the lab assignments, okay, we'll see what those look like. The lab assignments are lots of figure labeling. So one of the things that's really annoying, I know with Chrome on my computer, is this always keeps coming up. So it says, please use a browser that will enable flash content. I hit OK. Okay, but I already did enable Flash, so I, it, it comes up and does that every time for me, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, when you go to do this, these will be off to the sides, and you just drag them, and these are pictures from your textbook. So if you have the paper copy textbook you have open, or you can open up the e-text um, 
or open up the PowerPoint probably is easiest because I don't think you can run the e-text alongside this. Um, but anyway, this is what the labs will generally look like. Okay, and there's also some animations with the physiology. So in doing these assignments, you really get a good idea of what is uh, expected of you and what you need to know. And then lastly, the quiz. The difference between the quiz and the assignment is here we've got a little bit more uh, information. There is, it tells you the amount of uh, the time limit here, so 85 minutes. Okay, here you only get one attempt. Um, you can't, you don't get the correct answers. Okay, so it gives you a little bit more information for that. Okay, and the due dates are available uh, with each assignment. Okay, so you have the questions there and you'll select uh, for the quizzes. So these are not in uh, Wiley Plus, these are in Canvas. So, and just make sure that you're doing the quizzes individually and uh, quizzing yourself by keeping the book closed. All right. Um, so I think that's everything I kind of wanted to go over with respect to Wiley Plus. Um, like I said, the, the best kind of thing to do if you're running into problems, uh, Wiley Plus uh, support sometimes is a good help. And you can do, um, yeah, we were on this page. This is the same page. You can get, I think, the phone number on here, contact support. There's live chat and things like that. So. Um, you know, if you have any problems with Wiley Plus, just make sure you reach out to, to me. But like I said, if you kind of follow this, you should be in good shape. All right. Um, so good luck with uh, beginning the course and everyone should be able to get in. And again, if you run into any problems, feel free to reach out to me.